Hi, how you doing? Just giving you a quick overview of our trailer. Um, so we have about six meters of a barbecue pit, custom made here in Ireland. Um, on the front there, there's a little box underneath the stainless steel that carries uh, a large capacity igloo cooler. Um, we have finished the roof and the side awnings there off with a polycarbonate, which is fireproof and pretty much bulletproof as well. Um, the first item here on it is uh, our large charcoal grill, uh, fully adjustable. We can raise and lower the charcoal uh, and allow control over the grilling. I'll just open it up there. So, large capacity there. Uh, that particular grill has cooked uh, a thousand covers in six hours, um, so it's pretty powerful. Plenty of stainless steel, um, with a nice little stainless steel prep bench there. Uh, this is then one of our offset smokers, um, quite a large space inside now, three tiers in it. Um, we use this for smoking briskets and pork shoulders, allows us a lot of temperature control. We have a hot side and a cold side um, and we could even remove the top two racks and just leave the bottom one and we could actually smoke an entire pig. Um, so that's powered by a firebox here in the back on the right. So that little box there is the firebox that provides the heat smoke uh, for that particular chamber. This little guy here is uh, an upright smoker. Um, we place a fire in the bottom which is a separate compartment completely from the top. Um, inside the top then we have pretty much like an oven, five racks and allows us quite a large capacity for cooking uh, beef brisket uh, and even chicken which we can smoke in here. We use a reverse flow uh, smoking in there so means the smoke actually leaves the chamber on the bottom, arrives in the top of the cooking chamber and is pulled down over the meats. So then on this side we pretty much have the basis of a kitchen here. We have our own onboard hot water and um, we have a utility sink and hand washing sink there as well, just so we're uh, HSC and EHO compliant. Plenty of stainless steel for preparing, um, and we like to have separate ones for zoning for raw and cooked items. Plenty of storage on board, we keep our charcoal underneath, we even have our own on board power supply and music system, so we can uh, entertain and uh, feed many people. We. Uh, also fully self-sufficient with our own water supply on board with fresh water tank and a waste water tank. So very detailed trailer we've uh, gone for lots of bling as you can see plenty of storage as well up front here we actually have two refrigerators enclosed here in this space underneath this stainless steel bench um, and it's powered by the unpowered uh, power supply so we can run off the grid for a number of hours um, with this particular trailer. We also have our own LED lighting on board, so uh, quite powerful little floodlights there over our work area. Allows us to work uh, late at night, again off the grid completely and not uh, not needing a power supply from anyone. So that's really the trailer. Um, the kitchen side of it there could definitely be used for a demo without drawing too much attention to the smokers on board. Um, but ideal as well perhaps for somebody who wishes to do a barbecue demonstration. Um, we've done our own demonstrations as well recently at the Kenmare Food Carnival um, where we actually just launched this trailer. It's been uh, just out of the workshop about a week and uh, there you go. If you have any questions give me a call and uh, we'll talk soon.